doesn't have enough youth today, right? The number of dependency ratio, you know what dependency ratio mean? Means that people who are dependent on youth is increasing so much. Japan, Germany, and so on. Especially Germany, for that they are attracting lots of migrants. Okay? But at the end of the day, Japan still has the spirit of youth. And for that, they always have still competing with countries that maybe have majority of youth, but they don't care about creating a change in their, uh, in their community through using the spirit of youth. Actually, unfortunately, in the Arab world, we hear leaders from the Arab world, especially Arab world, unfortunately, I heard this many times, I said, I have millions of people, how can I feed them? So people is thought to be a burden, not thought to be a source of change. Okay, so that's uh, another issue. Yes, ma'am. A very good evening to you all. Uh, heartiest welcome to all the delegates here from all the delegates from India. My name is Romana Sana Sagal. I am the CEO and founder of a social entrepreneurship enterprise called Serendipity. I am basically a social entrepreneur and I've been in the contribution space creating social impact for the last eight years. I'm an engineer, that's where my journey started, and the primary focus being uh, creating. Uh, uh, space and uh, work opportunities for people through the medium of recycled art. I turned into a sculptor and an artist, a writer and a poet as well. I've been also working on uh, gender equality and mapping sustainable development goals, especially for the World Federation of United Nations, mentoring students um, and uh, uh, creating a niche for people and giving opportunities for women and inculcating the habit of giving uh, the girl child the realistic opportunities here. I look forward to this great congregation that we are all present here today and hope to take peace and ambassadorship as well as humanity forward through my work and in collaboration with all of you. Thank you. Um, first of all, good evening everyone. I'm really impressed with each one of you. Each of one, one of you is a really very special and doing uh, a lot of a great job. And anyone working in gender equi equity, as I say, I think they are the best people because we are really, we need this. And, uh, and all over the world, even the most developed countries that they think they have also even bigger gap than what we have in our countries. The gaps are different. Some of them has wage gaps, some of them how they're perspective. So this is something I need. And I like that you address yourself as a social entrepreneur. And this really what we miss and we need in our countries more. Uh, countries are not, are not going to be developed only by money. They are not going to only be developed when they get funds from you and, and helps from or any other international organizations. The more funds you get as a country, sometimes it's making it worse. But the more we have a social uh, entrepreneurial that make the interesting power come on and everyone support the country and they do the things by themselves where great people like you and like everyone want to build their country, then this country is going to be a more emerged country that, and this is what India is uh, doing. And I think India also is very famous because they are special than other countries because uh, they have more importance to values. And when you introduce yourself as a social entrepreneurship, I know that someone, is, she's also looking for the values. And this is the most important thing. We have the other countries are collapsing now because they were good in other things, but the value, importance of values, being religious to your religion, having the difference, accepting the differences between other. I think India is model number one, and um, we are happy to be here and uh, to hear from you. So, yes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I myself, Kiran Sukhani from Hong Kong. I'm Indian, but based in Hong Kong. I'm a nutritionist, uh, entrepreneur, stylist, and a model. And um, I won Mrs. India 2018 last year. Wow, so and, good, huh? Mrs. Um, Universe 2018 also. I got the woman of compassion. And yeah, I believe when universe give you so much, you should give back in one or the other way. So following that trend and following a lot of things to be done for humanity where we all are lacking, where we 
all need to do much more than what we are doing now. I've taken my initiative to start to work with a sex trafficking organization, anti-sex trafficking organization. I feel it's a very big issue among the women today. So taking that first step for working with the people and then now coming here, meeting you all delegates from different parts of the world and gonna to collaborate and know more. And taking this peace award and gonna to make the world a little different. I think we all can make a big difference if we all get united. A small difference from each one will bring a big change in the world. This is what I believe. So a big teamwork always brings the best results. So I look forward to do something better with all of you. Thank you. So I'm here. Oh, thank you. Yes, great series. And here, you know, we always talk about holistic approach, being a multidiscipline, not only in the group when you work, but how we as a mindset think in holistic approach. That we need to have more than one professional. And I think most all of you here are uh, practicing this. It's not only because I'm a specialist in something and I'm famous in something, I'm not going to work on the other thing. And this is what we need. I mean, before when we see the first people who came 100 years before, they used to be more specialized in more than one thing and they used to believe in this multi-approach uh, things. The more we went to look at the things in narrow-minded, it's going to be focused and specialized, but the more you think with you work in different disciplines, it's going even to strengthen your major discipline. I think this is the most beautiful things and um, yes, I think you deserve the award you take it to your mashallah, as we say, very beautiful and um, not only as a look, like, uh, even as a CV, when you talk about yourself. Okay, so I move to the As per the organizer, they told us to continue. So we want to continue from you guys, unless you want us to interact also with more uh, people from our side. So let's, uh, can you introduce yourself, sir? I'm Sumit Sud from Nagpur. I'm a businessman. I came with my wife. He has given me a mic, so I will surely say a few words. Uh, people have given me, we took in the society has given me a lot. Now it's time, I am with her, so I have to give back to oh, society also. Uh, thank you. I was sure that she will have a supportive man. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. We say uh, always in Arabic, behind a great woman, a great man. Great man, great woman. Thank you, good evening. This is Professor Dantesh Parulenka from the Goa University, uh, specialized in the field of international relations and foreign policy. Uh, thank you, thank you. So it's really an honor and a privilege to be here amongst the distinguished audience we have here. And what really brings me here is a commitment to the global cause of peace and development. So it's a great opportunity to get to meet all of you, to be able to network with you, and to be able to take this cause forward in a manner in which we all are interconnected to one another. So thank you very much. Uh, good evening, everybody. I am Professor Dr. Abrajita Gangupathe. I'm a professor of international relations and Latin American studies at the Goa University. And uh, I'm here because I was very interested because I do know one of them is a student, Monojit, who is who's working on cyber governance. And uh, uh, we usually teach, so we are not very well, you know, aware of the kind of groundwork that you do in the field. And so this is an opportunity to interact with people on the field for us because, you know, they say we stay in, you know, ivory citadels of teaching. So this is a great opportunity to interact with you guys and learn from you many things. Thank you so much. Proud of you. Thank you. Yes, sir. My name is uh, Deepankar, Deepankar Patra. I'm from the city of Joy, Calcutta. And uh, I've been working for 36 years now in the corporate field. And uh, while I was working, I found that the IT industry from where I belong, they don't really have the role models. And uh, there was a necessary for mentoring, counseling, guiding people. And there are no uh, formal counselling in the organisation. So what uh, we had taken up our task of is introducing counselling in the corporate organisations. So my uh, work was mainly in those areas. But apart from that on a personal side, I have focused on counselling and psychotherapy. I have specialised in hypnotherapy for the past 21 years. I have a centre in Calcutta. 
and uh, psychotherapy is what I want. I'm more in the power of the subconscious mind rather than the body language, NLP and the other things. And I have been very successful. My now current venture is to try to implement